how are you? I am Miss Melissa and this is... I am Mr. Justin. Excellent. And once again, we are here with QSP teaching you drama for week three. So what we have learned in the past is that there are three tools of an actor. The first tool of an actor is your body. Your second tool of an actor is your voice. And your third tool of an actor is your imagination. Now, we take those tools of an actor and we work together as an ensemble to tell a story. And that is drama. We also, last time we were here in week two, we learned about tableau, which is frozen picture. So it's a picture that tells a story, but you're not moving. You're very, very still. So everybody right now, show me a uh, tableau, frozen picture, of you brushing your hair. And show me a tableau of you eating a sandwich. Excellent. Show me a tableau of you about to blow out your birthday candles. Ready? Excellent. Good job. Good job. What we're going to learn today is we're going to learn about a moving picture. Now it's still silent the way a tableau is silent, but it is moving. And that word is pantomime. And you can remember what pantomime means because it has a tiny little word at the end of the big word. And that tiny little word is mime. And if we can imagine what a mime looks like and what a mime does. They're usually those clowns um, that are black and white usually because they're French and French are weird and they are stuck in a box. Yeah, stuck in a box or like pulling a rope, pulling a rope. Yes, but they're silent, right? So excellent. Um, and, but first, before we do any of that, we have to warm up our bodies, warm up our voices, warm up our imaginations. Um, and we got to get all nice and noodly before we play our game. So everyone, hands up to the ceiling, really, really straight. No bend in your elbows. Your fingers should be like little spheres. All the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Here, let me see if I can back up for you. There we go. And I want you to wiggle those fingers. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then drop your fingers, leave your wrists up. Drop your wrists, leave your elbows up. Drop your elbows, leave your shoulders up. Drop your shoulders. Excellent. Take a deep breath in and let it go. One more time. Up, 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 up. Very straight, very straight. Wiggle those fingers and drop those fingers. Leave your wrists up. Drop your wrists, leave those elbows up. Drop your elbows, leave those shoulders up to your ears. And then drop your shoulders. Take a deep breath in. And I'll let that go. Excellent. Now let's do some head rolls. So I want your chin down to your chest, your ear to your shoulder, but don't bring your shoulder up. Leave your ear down or your shoulder down, your ear to your shoulder, your nose to the ceiling, ear to your other shoulder, chin to your chest. Excellent. Let's go to the other way. Ear to your shoulder. Leave that shoulder down, nose to the ceiling, ear to your shoulder and chin to your chest. Good. One more time this way, but let's go a little bit faster. Ear to your shoulder, nose to the ceiling. Keep that shoulder down, chin to your chest. Other way, ear to your shoulder, nose to the ceiling, ear to your shoulder, chin to your chest. Excellent. Now everyone shake your head, yes, yes, yes. And shake your head, no, no, no. Excellent. Now shake your head, no, no, no. And shake your head. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, forget our brains and our imaginations and our bodies. Excellent. Now, I want you to imagine that you have a crayon, a big giant crayon that goes all the way to the ceiling. You're going to take that crayon, you're going to put it on your head, and you're going to make big circles on the ceiling with that crayon. Big circles, big circles. Excellent. Big old circles. And now medium circles, medium circles. Good, good, good. And now itty bitty circles, teeny tiny itty bitty circles. Excellent. Now take that crayon, cut it in half, put one half on here, one half on here, and make big circles with your shoulders. Ready? Big circles with your shoulders. Excellent. And forward shoulder circles. Perfect. 
Now you're gonna take that crayon, you're gonna put it back together, zoop, and you're gonna say, see you later, crayon. Crayon. Now, I want you to use your imagination again, and I want you to imagine that you are Sleeping Beauty, and I want you to give me a big Sleeping Beauty yawn. Ah, yes, this sound one more time. Ah, oh my gosh, you've been asleep for a thousand years. How does Sleeping Beauty sound? Good job. And now I want you to imagine that you are Maleficent and you haven't been invited to the party. What? And let me give give me a big Maleficent laugh. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> and your very last most evil Maleficent. Maleficent laugh. <laughs> Excellent. Good job, my friend. Now, one more time, we're going to use our imaginations. I want you to imagine that you are your favorite superhero. And I want you to show me your superhero stance. Stick that chest out nice and brave. And then I want you to show me your evil villain stance. Shoulders up to your ears. Yes. Wahaha. And superhero stance, nice and brave and tall. And evil villain stance, yes. And last time, superhero stance, nice and brave and tall. And evil villain stance, excellent, good job. Now I want you to stand in actor neutral. So what that means is your feet are shoulder length apart, your hands are down by your side, your head is straight up and proud. And I want you to say, oh, and your feet, this is important, your feet are uh, grounded into the floor. They're planted in the ground. You're imagining that there are roots coming out of your feet into the ground and that you're a big, tall oak. And I want you to say really loudly, hey. Hey. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you there. Hey, you there. One more time, say hey. Hey. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you there. Hey, you there. Excellent. Very last time. Hey. Hey. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you there. Hey, you there. Good. Now put your hands on your heart. Take a deep breath in and let that go. Hey. Time. Hands on your heart. Take a deep breath in and let that go. Good, excellent. And now I'm going to send you over to Mr. Justin for our games. Oh, yes. Okay. So our game today is all about using our new word pantomime, which is a silent movement and using our imagination. And so what we're going to do for this game is we're going to all imagine your favorite food. Ooh. We're all going to imagine our favorite food. So think about it for a couple seconds. Oh my gosh, what's your, what's your favorite food? Amazing. Think about it. You got it in your head. Very nice. I've got mine. So what we're going to do is we're going to do pantomimes of eating everybody else's favorite food. Since we're not, since it's a video, Miss Melissa and I are going to do it, but I want you to go and encourage you to do it along with us with our favorite foods and you all try and practice your pantomiming with your favorite foods. So how we're going to do this, I'm going to share mine. My favorite food is a big sandwich. And so everybody, I want to see everybody grab your big sandwich right in front of you. It's a nice, it's a really big sandwich. Oh my gosh. So good. So many good things inside your sandwich. It could be anything, it could be anything you want. All right. Now, we're gonna do a pantomime of eating the sandwich. So you're gonna to have to take the biggest bite you can possibly imagine and ready, set, go. Take that bite. Make sure you swallow too. Oh, delicious, delicious. All right, so that is my food, meal, pantomime. So go ahead and toss that sandwich away. All right, Miss Melissa, do you have a favorite food? I do have a favorite food. Now for my favorite food, you are going to need two plates. The plate that has the tamales 
on it. And then the empty plate where you're going to put the corn husk. So let me see your two plates. Show me your two plates. Excellent. Now put the empty one down and you're going to take the tamale. You're going to take off the corn husk and then you're going to eat it. Excellent. If you are me, you are also putting guacamole on your tamales. So go ahead and do that. Delicious. Thank you. So good. So good. Now, I encourage you all to at least pause the video for now and I'll imagine and use your imagination. Think about your favorite food and then think about how you can do a pantomime, a silent activity with and eating this food. All right. Pause the video. And but now after you've unpaused, we're going to move on to our next bit. And our next bit is actually using pantomimes in the story that we're reading, which is, of course, Imani's Moon. And so I'm very, very excited for this. I'm going to read it. And while we're reading it, we're going to pause. And every time we pause, we're going to do, I'm going to like say, oh, let's do a pantomime of uh, the snake, Nyoka, sliding down the branch. So let's all, let's all, let's all be Nyoka the snake right now. Ready, set, go. Do a nice good pantomime of your snake sliding down. Very nice. Wonderful. Everyone's doing such a fantastic job. All right, and let that go. Actor neutral. So amazing. All that I ask is that you put on your listening ears and you are also ready, sitting or standing and acting and actor neutral, ready to go and ready to do some pantomime. So let's get this story going. This story is Amani's Moon by Janae Brown Wood. Amani was the smallest child in her village. Look at tiny Amani, the other children teased. She's no higher than a lion cub's knee. Careful, they called to her. Don't let the meerkat stomp on your head. <laughs> Mini Amani, you'll never accomplish anything. Day in and day out, the children teased her, and Amani began to believe them. Every night, Amani's mama lifted her spirits with stories. This night, mama told her the story of Olapa, the goddess of the moon, who fought a great battle against the god of the sun and triumph. Okay, let's pause real quick. We're gonna do, we're gonna do a pantomime of us fighting alongside Olapa, the goddess of the moon, fighting the, the sun god. And on the count of three, one, two, three, go. Do your pantomime from fighting alongside all the pop. Awesome. And freeze in a cool fighting pose. Give me a tableau. Wonderful, wonderful. Excellent. All right, let that go. Actor neutral, actor neutral. Wonderful job. All right, we're moving on. Do you think I could do something great like Olapa? Asked Imani. I do, answered Mama. Even something like touching the moon? Even that, said Mama, but it is you who must believe. Mama kissed her forehead. Usiku Muema. Good night, Amani. Good night, Mama. That night, Olapa and Amani battled side by side in Amani's dreams. Together, they protected the people of Earth from danger, flew through the sky, and guarded the moon. All right, we all have to go about it again. So another amazing pantomime of you doing your fight with Olapa. Ready, set, go. Pantomime. Get your fight going on. Very nice. Now, go ahead and now shift to flying through the sky as Amani. Pantomime of you flying through the sky, protecting the people of Earth. Wonderful. Oh, amazing. And freeze in your flying pose. Beautiful. Very nice. And let that go. Let that go. Wonderful. All right. Amani stood tall and brave on the moon with Olapa beside her. The next morning, Amani awoke. Let's let's do a pantomime of us waking up after after a great night's sleep. <sighs> Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. Inspired to do something great. Today, she told herself, I will touch the moon. Later that day, Amani made her way through the village. Look, it's Amani the ant, called one of the teasing children. Where are you off to? 
teased another. Gonna catch a ride on a beetle's back. I'm going to touch the moon, answered Imani. The children laughed and followed her. As the moon grew brighter in the late day sky, Imani began to climb the tallest tree. All right, now pause. We're all gonna do a pantomime of us climbing a really, really tall tree. You gotta be looking up at the tree while you do it. You gotta be watching where you're going. Very nice. Excellent. Oh, good. All right, freeze in your climbing pose. And freeze briefly here for a second. Keep, keep, fr keep freezing. The bark scraped her small hands and legs and on the branch above, Nyoka the snake appeared. Now, everyone let go of that tableau, wonderful. Now we must become Nyoka the snake. So I wanna see everybody's snake pantomime. Ready, set, go. Oh, wonderful, you're slithering down a branch and you come across Imani. Oh, very nice. And Nyoka says, oh, and go ahead and let that go. And Nyoka says, what's going on? He hissed. I'm going to touch the moon, answered Imani. That's impossible, Nyoka jeered. It's much too high. Imani climbed on. All right, let's keep climbing now. Another, another amazing pantomime climb. Very good. Oh, keep climbing. Keep going, keep going. And as she got higher and higher, climbing became harder and harder. Let me see how hard it's getting to climb this. So hard. Very nice, very nice, keep going. And then she stretched herself to reach the next branch. Oh, when she lost her footing and fell to the ground with a thump. Slow motion fall to the ground now. Uh, awesome, awesome. All right, let that go, let that go. Wonderful job, everyone. Uh, maybe I won't touch the moon, she sighed. That night, Mama told Imani about Anansi, the small spider who captured a snake to gain a name for himself. Mama, do you believe that a spider so small and weak could really capture a snake so long and quick? Imani asked. I do, answered Mama. Even if no one else believes it, Imani asked, the challenge is only impossible until someone accomplishes it, Mama said. Amani, it is only you who must believe. Amani drifted to sleep and dreamed that she climbed to the top of the highest tree in her village, captured a snake, and made a name for herself. All right, let's pause here. Let's do another pantomime of you climbing that same tree. So this time, climb that tree. Uh, and you're really, you're really going to get up to the top there. And once you reach the top, go ahead and grab Yoka the snake. Ah. And then you got to do a little silent cheer for yourself because now you've made a name for yourself. Wonderful, wonderful, amazing cheers. All right, let those go. Let that go. Amazing. The next day, now you got to do this with me. You got to follow along with me. So the next day, Amani searched the village. So look around, make sure you look around. And Amani grabs some, grab some twigs, grab, grab your twigs. You've got a bag right here. Put those twigs in your bag. Um, grab some, grab some leaves. Oh, grab some leaves right here. Oh, and the next part is sticky berries. So you got to look around on the ground for some sticky berries. Make sure you're doing the pantomime. We're grabbing those sticky berries. But be careful because they're super sticky, but throw them in there. Very nice. Excellent. And then you're looking for rope. So make sure you look everywhere for some rope. Oh, I got my rope. Okay, throw it in the bag. Everything's in the bag now. All right, go ahead, close up your bag. Oh, put it over your shoulder. Very nice. Now we're walking through the village. Excellent. Um, and, and she headed back to the tallest tree and go ahead and sit down and get to work. So go ahead and what you're constructing our wings. What's Amani the Tiny up to today? Teased the children. I'm going to touch the moon, Amani answered. As the moon began to appear, Amani pulled her creation onto her arms. She spread out her arms out wide, and you gotta do this with me now, and sprinted past the tallest tree as quickly as she could. So go ahead, you're running as fast as you can. You've got your wings on your arms, so be careful of those. Very nice. And then Amani's wings cut, caught a gust of wind. She soared as high as the treetops. Go ahead and start flying. You've got these amazing wings on now. Beautiful. Let's see everyone's pantomime of flying through the air. Oh, yes. 
Amazing, amazing. All right. So as high as the treetops, what are you doing here? Asked Sokwe the chimpanzee, confused to see a flying human. I'm going to touch the moon, Amani called. You who can't do that, give up, give up, mocked Sokwe. But Amani flew on. Let's all keep flying. Beautiful, wonderful, amazing. Then suddenly a strong burst of wind, too mighty for her delicate wings, sent her sailing into a tree. Let's do this in slow motion. A big gust of wind hits you, <sighs> sent you flying back and you hit the tree. <sighs> and your wings are broken. <sighs> the children laughed and left her behind. I give up, she sighed. Heading back home, Amani heard, a uh, her, heard her village gathered in celebration. The young warriors were performing the Adumu, the jumping dance. Can I see everybody do a little jumping dance real quick? Do a nice little pantomime doing a jumping dance. Can you like a little jump go? Oh, wonderful. Everyone's got their own, own kind of jumping dance. Amazing. Beautiful. All right, let that go, let that go. Wonderful job. Love all the dancing. All right, over and over again, the warriors jumped high into the sky, their heads caressing the clouds. Cheers and chants rang from the proud villagers. One of the warriors jumped so high than any other. This warrior seemed to fly. Mani could not look away. She cheered the loudest for him. Let's all do a pantomime of us cheering loud. How can you do that but being really quiet, but being in silence? Very nice, and freeze in your tableau, freeze in the tableau of you cheering. Very nice, let that go, let that go. Beautiful. All right, after the celebration, Ma Mama and Amani returned home. Too tired for a story, Amani went straight to sleep. Her dreams danced with visions of the Adumu. The cheers and chants from her proud village still echoed in her head. When morning broke, Amani went to the tallest tree, the teasing children followed. She's going to climb again, they hollered. But instead, Amani jumped. Can I see everybody jump one time? <clears throat> Wonderful, now jump two times. Now jump three times. Amazing. Now, each jump took her higher and higher and higher. Amani jumped all day. As the sky grew darker, Boondi the Owl flew by. Can I see everybody become Boondi the Owl? Do a nice pantomime of you flying as, as an owl, wonderful. And Boondi says, what are you who doing? He asked. I'm going to touch the moon, Amani answered. Don't foo yourself, you who won't make it. Who did Boondi? But Amani jumped on. Her body grew tired, her legs ached, her feet throbbed, and the children continued to taunt. But like a warrior, she jumped higher than each jump before. In her mind, she could only hear the cheers and chants of her proud village. She could see only herself as one of the warriors rising from the earth. She kept her eyes on the moon above and felt herself getting closer. And with the final push of her legs, Amani jumped once more. All right. Pause real quick. So I want everybody to look up at the moon, see the moon, don't look at me, look up at the moon, wonderful. And you're gonna do one last big jump, the biggest jump you've done all this whole time and go for it, a silent jump. Wonderful. And get your wings out because Amani soared through the sky and she landed on the face of the moon. Ola pa, Amani called. I am here. I am Amani and I have made it to the moon. So you have, said a voice in the wind. Welcome. Amani clapped. She laughed. She sang. She. All right, hello friends, sorry about that. We've had some internet issues, but that's okay, because that's just a th 
thing. And we'll keep going through our story. And so uh, you might have heard this part already, but I'm just going to take it back just to make sure. And so we're at this part. But like a warrior, she jumped higher than each jump before. In her mind, she could only hear the cheers and chants of her proud village. She could see only herself as one of the warriors rising from the earth. She kept her eyes on the moon above and felt herself getting closer. With a final push of her legs, Amani jumped once more. All right, we're going to pause real quick. We're going to do a pantomime. I want everybody to imagine that you're looking up at the moon. Go ahead and look up at the moon, and you're going to do one more wild jump, the biggest jump you've done this whole time. You're going to do this amazing jump. So on the count of three, one, two, three, and jump. Oh, very nice. And then get your wings out, get your wings out, because now Amani soared through the night sky. She landed on the face of the moon. Ola pa, Amani called. I am here. I am Amani, and I have made it to the moon. So you have, said a voice in the wind, welcome. Amani clapped, she laughed, she sang, she rolled in the moon dust and danced with excitement. All right, let's pause there. Let's do another amazing pantomime of either, you know, if you wanna roll around in the moon dust, roll around in the moon dust. If you wanna do an excited dance, go ahead and do your excited dance. If you wanna clap or laugh, all of that is okay. Pick which one you want. I'm gonna roll around in the moon dust. So on the count of three, we're all gonna do our pantomimes. One, two, three, go for it. Oh, amazing. And freeze in your celebration. Beautiful tableaus. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, and let that go. Go back to actor neutral. Wonderful. All right. As she celebrated, she noticed something shiny. She picked up the thing that dazzled her eye and turned it over in her hands. Can I see everybody? Go ahead and pick up this small thing in your hand. Go ahead, pick it up. And go ahead and show it to everyone else. Oh, my gosh. Amazing. Now, it was a small round moon rock, her own tiny moon. A gift for you, Imani the Great, said the voice. Thank you, goddess of the moon, Imani smiled. Feeling lighter than ever before, let's all do this together now. We're going to do another pantomime. Feeling lighter than ever before, Imani jumped. So jump one more time. Wow. One last time and floated from the moon towards the waiting earth. Wonderful. Amazing. Go ahead and let that go. And down from the sky came Amani, the small girl with the small moon in her hand. All was quiet. No one taunted or hissed or mocked or hooted. That night, Amani called to her, to her mama. Can I tell you a story tonight? She asked. Which one? Asked mama. It is the tale of the girl who touched the moon. Mama listened as Amani told her the story. Where did you hear such a tale? asked Mama. Amani opened her hands. Let's all do this together. Let's all do this pantomime together. Amani opened her hands and revealed the glowing moon rock, so small and beautiful. It's my story, Mama, said Amani. I am the girl who touched the moon and was welcomed by Olapa. I am the one who believed. The end. All right, let that go. Back to actor neutral and give yourselves a wonderful silent round. This is also applause, excellent. So we just made it through Amani's moon and you all did an amazing job with the pantomiming, which is fantastic. And so that was our big word for today. And so pantomime is obviously a silent activity and you don't use any objects or anything. You only use your imagination, super, super important. And so, awesome. Well, I want us all to do this real quick before we head out. I want us to do this all real quick. I'm gonna to count to three and you're gonna go ahead and do a pantomime, a happy dance or like a, like a tired dance or whatever you wanna do of how you are feeling right now. So on the count of three, one, two, three, do your pantomime. Awesome, and freeze in your tableaus. Your frozen picture. Oh my God. Amazing. Thank you all so much. Let those go. Let those go. And 
Well, thank you all so much. That concludes lesson number three on pantomiming. We'll be back with you next time for lesson four. See ya. Yeah. Bye. Bye.